And welcome to your weekly UAS News Update Christmas edition. We have five stories this week. Airware was released. We have the legislators that urged the Pentagon to deny export license for DJI. That's a bad one. A Precision Hawk shuts down operation, also a bad one. A DFA Authorization Act, I'll get to that one. And then more importantly, we have updates for the DJI Air 3 and the Mini 4 Pro. Let's get to it. First up this week is a new app called Airware. Now, I know what you're thinking. Great, another app that I need to keep track of. Well, yes and no. The FAA is actually discontinuing before you fly. So rather than lose that resource for recreational pilots, we've partnered with Aloft to sponsor a replacement. And uh, Airware is currently very similar to before you fly, but this is actually by design to make sure that new recreational flyers have access to that resource for the holiday season. So we're actively working with Aloft to make sure that Airware has well, more of a one-stop shop feel with integrated lands, with flight logs, and even possibly local drone regulation. Now, you might be wondering, what about air control from Aloft? Well, that's more of a Part 107 type of app. And the reason why we wanted to create a new replacement for Before You Fly is because, well, recreational flyers have slightly different needs. They don't need the complex app. They also need to know about regulation that, you know, has to do with recreational flying. So rather than bugging Part 107 pilots and, and filling up air control with more information about recreational flying, we decided to turn that app into, well, the recreational app. That's the beginner's app, if you want. So if you're flying under Part 107 at the moment, don't really worry about it too much. But if you're a recreational flyer, that's definitely something that you should be checking out. Now, if you want to tell us some of uh, your ideas and things that we can improve with the app, we're going to put a link down here to the uh, suggestion form, and then you can just, well, tell us what you would like to see in it. Next up this week is a coalition of lawmakers that are urging the Pentagon to deny export licenses for DJI. Now, if you aren't really sure what an export license is, well, it's an authorization that grants permission to export specific equipment and information. Basically, an American company could export a new camera or lens design using an export license. Now, it's unclear at this stage how much of the current DJI products come from US export licenses or if this is going to affect any of the consumer product, but we'll keep you updated if we hear anything else. Third story is a bit of a sad one. This week, uh, Precision Hawk, a drone technology company that's based in Raleigh, North Carolina, has announced that they will cease operation and close their downtown headquarters. Uh, they're filing Chapter 7 bankruptcy. Uh, if you're not familiar with this, that means that they don't intend to continue operating as opposed to Chapter 11. Uh, the filing shows that they have $3.8 million in assets and uh, $17.5 million in debt. $17.5 million in debt. Uh, that includes 250,000 in unpaid rent for the uh, building downtown. Now you may not know Precision Hawk, but you may know their pilot network, which is called Droners.io. Uh, Precision Hawk acquired the network in 2018. And at this stage, it's pretty unclear as to what's gonna happen to the network, but keep that in mind. If you're uh, seeing some job posting from that uh, specific website, uh, they may or may not continue to operate. So it looks like S-Rose is gonna need to find a new platform at this stage to build new long-term relationship with pilots. And if you didn't get that joke, I'm sure somebody in the comments is going to explain it to you. And next up, the sarcasm segment with the FA Reauthorization Act that has been delayed. I didn't even see it coming. The uh, U.S. Senate has passed a three-month extension that's going to keep the FA operating until then, but uh, they want more time to figure this out and uh, figure out how to do their job and how to sign the document. That last extension comes up right before they have to take their so well-deserved you know, time off for the holiday for all the hard work that they did last year. Uh, mind you, the current Reauthorization Act is uh, dating back to 2018, and then the 2023 version was expected to be passed yeah, you know, months ago, but where's the rush? All right, and finally, for the last segment, let's talk about DJI that released a new firmware update for the DJI Mini 4 Pro and the Air 3. Uh, that's gonna bring new features that uh, are coming from the Mavic 3, and that's gonna bring it to both of these drones, uh, including the Vision Assist. That's a feature that allows the user to see what the obstacle avoidance system is actually seeing. Uh, both of the drones also are gonna get Active Track 360 Auto, which is a feature that lets the drone fly pretty much automatically um, doing active track track flights, allowing the users to let the drone be a little creative while it's following different objects. The Mini 4 Pro is also now compatible with the Goggles 2, the Goggles Integra, the RC Motion Controller 2. Uh, the Air 3 was already compatible, but now the Mini 4 is as well. So 
There's a few more things in here that are a little bit more minor, so uh, make sure that you read the uh, release note when you uh, install it on your drone. So yeah, that's it for this uh, week. But for any of you that are new pilots that are going to be uh, getting a new drone coming up this week, or if you know someone who's getting a new drone, uh, make sure that they download Airware, make sure that they check the airspace, make sure that they follow the checklist in there. It's going to show them how to do trust, how to get registration done, and uh, how to fly legally, basically. So uh, don't be that guy out there. And if you're someone who's been flying for a while and you know people that are beginning, just be a mentor to them. That's, uh, that's what we do, obviously, but we're asking you to do the same and help people uh, fly safely out there. All right, so I'm going to sign off. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and then we'll see you guys next week for the next news update. Maybe we should do the hat. And hold for focus. All right. Good to go. Ah! All right. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, okay. See that? Well, wow, that thing stinks too. And welcome to your weekly UAS news update, Christmas edition. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs>